Hi and welcome back to this week's Ask Charlie. I am in my laundry room and this week we are discussing by popular demand washing machines and my top tips on keeping it clean and running as smoothly as possible. So please do remember to subscribe, to like, to comment and to ring the bell to be notified of my weekly videos. Our washing machine is very, very important to me and so I like to look after her to keep her running well and washing our clothes, busy family, it is on every single day, sometimes three, four times. So my top tips are soda crystals, I love these. They're brilliant, they're so versatile and literally two cupfuls, so I use this old cup, two cupfuls and place it straight into the drum of the washing machine and on a hot wash, as hot as you can possibly get it, so 90 and a decent length run, don't put any kind of time savers on and put it on, let it do its thing. When that has finished, you then use white vinegar plain white vinegar and again two cupfuls straight into the drum and put that on a hot cycle as well so it really is as simple as that you can add some lavender oil as well to the vinegar just to make it smell nice to smell fresh um, because the vinegar doesn't have the best smell to be honest then it's really important to clean your soap dispenser regularly it gets all kind of gunked up with um washing powder it can get mouldy so a toothbrush or a brush like this to get in those bits and in here I've got a spawn tips cloth these are really handy a little bit of washing up liquid fairy liquid and that will come up a treat also use a cloth and have a really good wipe around these areas you can get um, quite a lot of build up on the top there so just slide that back in and then the rim around the edge. So again, um, a cloth I have got, in fact with this dripping wet, but I love these cloths, they're just so versatile. So wipe around the rubber, inside, outside, and also, um, you can't see, but let me move it down. In, down, there as well. And make sure that that has a really good clean and you get the grime out. It's hard to get in there and um, it, might, it might take a bit of rubbing. But the way to not get a build up of um, mould in this area is to leave your door open. So when you have finished, um, you know, and you've emptied your machine, leave the door open. Don't close it because then the moisture is trapped inside and there will be a build up. Make sure you wipe regularly the glass around the edge, keep that clean, and then right down at the bottom, I'm going to show you, in fact I can't, I'm going to tip the camera like that, you see down here, let me do this one handed, there we go, it's not very professional, but there is a pipe down here and that you can just take the end off and clean that out in there as well, so um, I'm not going to show you that on camera because it's a bit difficult. <laughs> Our laundry room's quite small, but you kind of get the gist of it. Also, when you have your washing machine serviced or if there's a problem with it, chat to the person that comes to fix it. That is where I have learned these tips from. Just by talking, always offer the engineer a cup of tea and just say, oh, you know, what are your tips on keeping it clean? How do you do that? What should I do? How often should I do it? So every six months you should be doing this and every six months you should be checking the filter down at the bottom of your machine as well to keep it clean. So I hope that you have found that useful. I hope it has been helpful. Thank you as ever for tuning in. Please do like, please do comment and have a fabulous weekend.